Learn how to create powerful motion graphics by harnessing light to shape your projects. We'll be utilizing two very simple steps that will allow you to create any cinematic scene right here in After Effects. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, we're gonna go through two examples here by building these conceptualized type scenes and we can start off by just creating a single source of light. And this is just a simple shape. So with the rectangle tool, we can create a single white window or doorway right here in the middle of the composition. Essentially, just create your light source. Also, right off the start, create a solid black background to ensure we have no transparency. And now that our light source is established, from here, we can go ahead and add in our other design objects if you want to use anything else in your scene. So just for now, I'll just add this vector object. So with our simple scene design complete, let's move on to the next step to actually illuminate the scene. So I'll select our shape, which is our light source, and go to Effect and add Gaussian Blur from Blur and Sharpen. Set the blurriness up to around 40 or so and absolutely turn off repeat edge pixels. Looks terrible, but thankfully we can go to Stylize and add Glow. Select the glow radius to, I don't know, to somewhere around 90 and then Alt click the stopwatch. We'll add a flicker effect by typing wiggle 1 comma 10. To make this effect much more intense, let's just duplicate the glow effect and set the glow radius to 10 million. <laughs> just kidding, it's capped at 1000. Adobe doesn't want your computer to explode, you know. However, I would suggest changing the wiggle settings to be more intense. This way, we will have a really soft light and that looks beautiful. All right, so we established our light source, but now we need to think about how the light will affect the overall scene. So let's assume there's a floor right below our light source. The best way to create a floor reflection is by creating a white solid and then apply the CC spotlight effect from perspective. When you set the intensity to 100 and the height to zero, you'll be left with this beam of light. From here, we can take the anchor points within the spotlight effect to reposition what will be our light reflection. The top point here is the starting location of the beam and the final point is the direction the beam will face. So we can increase the cone angle to expand the beam of light and also we can increase the edge softness. Also, let's add the wiggle expression to the edge softness just so we can keep our light source animation consistent. Lastly, we can create a mask and feather it out to fade this nicely into our scene. So far, this is coming together very well, but let's talk about a few other minor details that will make a massive difference. First, create an adjustment layer and add the noise effect. We'll set the amount to 12%, and then we can also add the curves effect to increase the contrast of the scene. And one last thing we need to consider is shadows. So if you have an object, I would duplicate it and go to Layer, Transform, and select Flip Vertical. Then add a Gaussian Blur to that layer to create your shadow. You also might want to add the Fill effect to make sure that it's going to be black. Now that our light source and elements are in place, we can easily expand on the scene by duplicating the beam of light and the window here. If you duplicate the spotlights, be sure to set the blending mode to screen. You can even animate the spotlight to insinuate that the sun is moving outside of our conceptualized building here and just beautiful work. I wanna recap these steps on our other scene here in which I wanna focus more on advanced lighting techniques. But before we move forward, if you wanna speed up your workflow, be sure to get our 100 free template pack along with our free animation presets for After Effects linked below. With our motion duck extension, you can animate entire scenes within a matter of a few clicks. We also have over 25,000 plus templates available for AE and Premiere Pro. So if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So here I'm creating a solar system. Obviously the circle in the middle is the light source, AKA the star, uh, with the same light effects applied from the previous uh, example. And the circles around the star here are the planets. What makes this scene unique is because now we're lighting for a 3D scene and objects that revolve around the light source. Also, keep in mind, I already have the adjustment layer effects and a background ready to go. So what we'll do here is make sure our design layers are 3D and then create a camera layer. With the camera tools, we can rotate this scene in 3D space. And I mean this from a technical standpoint, not in a literal sense. However, when we rotate the scene, all the circles get messed up. So we can go to layer, transform and click auto orient. 
and select orient towards camera. Boom, perfect. All the circles will be facing the camera rather than just being flat. So to have our planet circles react to the light source, uh, we could add a gradient ramp and fine tune those settings to create a realistic you know, lighting shade here. Uh, this may work great for some projects, but in this scene, it just won't. And let me just show you why. If I create a null object and make it 3D, parent all the circles to that null object, and then animate the rotation of Z on that null, this will make the circles revolve around the light source. However, the gradient does not realistically behave in our environment. The lighting is not you know, updating as it moves around the light source. To create realistic lighting, we need to create what I'm calling a light map. To visualize this the best, I'll create a solid layer and add the gradient ramp effect. We'll then set this to a radial ramp and move the white point to be in the sphere of influence of light from our perspective. So when a planet is in front of the sun from our perspective, it will be dark. However, when it's behind the sun, it will be bright. So to apply this, just copy and paste the gradient ramp onto your circle and do this for every object in your scene. And keep in mind, you may need to slightly adjust the gradient points for each object. And that's how you light for a 3D scene and create reactive lighting. Just be sure to tag me when you get hired by NASA. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and always be creative.